The spoken, I'll now open the afternoon with the member for Ugenya. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Article 132 of the Constitution of Kenya provides that the President will every year give a report to this House on the steps taken to implement Article 10. Mr. Speaker, Article 10 is the soul of the nation. Article 10 is what the engineers would call the software of the country. It is what the doctor would call the heartbeat of this country. Mr. Oh Speaker, through Article 10, this country gave to itself how they want to be governed. Mr. So Speaker, Article 10 of the Constitution provides for us the map to where we want to go. Mr. So Speaker, in the last one and a half years, we've listened to and been treated to, Mr. Speaker, the Deputy President piercing with a sharp knife through the very heart of the nation. Mr. So Speaker, when we went to give ourselves a new Constitution, Mr. Speaker, we said tribalism, nepotism, corruption, Mr. Speaker, are our ills. And we said that we will entrench Article 10 and ensure that going forward, we live as a country together, united, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, for the last two years, Donald Bogachagua has not only put a knife onto the back of our values and shared principles, but he's kept turning that knife, Mr. Speaker, to the level where if we allow him to continue being the president, Mr. Speaker, we are going to risk the loss of the heart of this country, Mr. Speaker. Mr. So Speaker, the move of this motion, Don Rebo Mutuse, read what appears in Article 10, Mr. Speaker. Mr. So Speaker, there is nothing to say about a person who believes that this country should only belong to one region, Mr. Speaker. It has to be clear today that we are not impeaching Mount Kenya. We are not impeaching the Kikuyu. We are impeaching an individual who has refused to follow the law every single day of his life. Mr. So Speaker, Oboka Chagua is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, not the deputy president of Mount Kenya, Mr. Speaker. He is the deputy president of Kenya Kwanzaa, not Morima Kwanzaa, Mr. Speaker. It has to be said today that if you are to build together, if you are to run a country that has shared values, shared principles, and shared prosperity, Mr. Speaker, all of us must believe that our leaders will live within the four corners of the law. Mr. Speaker, it is true and it's been said by Kenyans, that we are all tribal. Of course, we all, we all come from tribes. We also have our own tribal sentiments, Mr. Speaker. We all have our feelings about what should happen to our tribes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's even been said that Kufa Dereva, Kufa Makanga. It's also been said that all of us sitting here today have some tri tribal things in our closet, Mr. Speaker. That is true. But, Mr. Speaker, and you are a seasoned lawyer, when you go to court, and you are charged, and the other you are charged, you are not in court, they say, Rigiji Gachagua, and others not in court. The case here today is that of Rigiji, not others not here today. The case we're dealing with today is the case of Makanga, not the river, not passengers. So, Mr. Speaker, we have to deal with a person who believes that his job is to represent Mount Kenya. Mr. Speaker, on this side sits members of parliament elected by Mount Kenya people. On this side sits members of parliament from Nyeri, from Kirinyaga, from Muranga, from everywhere. Those counties also have governors. Nobody appointed, appointed Rigiji to be the benefactor. No one appointed Rigiji to be the custodian of Mount Kenya. No one. Because our constitution provides for leaders from that place to represent them. Mr. Speaker, by his actions, that are against Article 10 of the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, Rigiji has alienated Mount Kenya from the rest of the country. He is fought so hard to be the Mount Kenya kingpin, Mr. Speaker, and I believe that this House must impeach him so that he can go and be the kingpin of Mount Kenya, not the deputy president of this country. That's what we need to do this afternoon, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, yesterday I heard him mention the name of our PCS, the name of the Ford Kenya leader, Mr. Speaker.
Political arguments are done between parties and among parties, Mr. Speaker. And if, for example, MDG where Iran has shares in the government, the shares are for the whole country, not for a tribe or for individuals, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today, I must say that we will impeach him. But all of us here today must also, also solve such that as we impeach Gashagua, have you lived a better life yourself as a Kenyan? Have you lived a better li your life as a leader? What have you done in your closet that reflects what Gachagawa has done? We will impeach him, but he must also change our ways as a country, from the president down to all of us who lead in this country, Speaker. I support and believe that he must be impeached. Commissioner Patrick Macau. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this chance.